What kinds of insects don't exist on our planet? Did you know that there is such a small bug, which, in order to eat, needs a lot of work? This is the acorn beetle, or, to be more correct, the acorn weevil. The weevil can vary in size, from 5 to 10 millimeters, and representatives of this species, which live in the tropics, grow up to 60 millimeters. The name, acorn weevil, speaks for itself. Firstly, the mouth of this beetle closely resembles a long nose tube, and secondly, this beetle feeds on acorns. The mouth tube which sometimes exceeds length of the beetle, with body length of 5 mm the head tube can reach 10 to 15 mm, on the end is equipped with rather sharp little teeth, which look very much like a saw. Because of the large size of its proboscis, the weevil has to keep it in a horizontal position all the time, in order not to interfere with its movements. The weevil tilts its proboscis only when it needs to take a bite. After finding a suitable acorn and tilting its proboscis to it, the beetle begins to turn its head very quickly and, unscrewing its nose tube, drill a hole in the acorn. The head of the insect moves incredibly fast, easily and freely, which makes it possible to drill a hole in the acorn. This is the peculiar way the acorn weevil gets its food. The acorn weevil is the longest-nosed beetle. The reproduction of these beetles takes place in a no less interesting way. The acorn weevil hatches its offspring in the same acorn. Drilling a hole in its peel, the beetle lays one or more eggs, which soon turn into a larva. The larva grows inside the acorn for a month, eating it from the inside. The larger the larva becomes, the more it eats the acorn mass, thereby making room in the acorn for further development. When a fruit spoiled by the larva can no longer develop and falls from the tree to the ground, this fall is a signal to the larva, and it tries to get out. But, the hole once made by the female beetle is not enough for the larva to escape. Therefore, the larva chews its way out on its own with its strong teeth, enlarging the existing hole. Having got out of the acorn, the larva burrows into the ground to a depth of 25 to 30 centimeters, where it spends the winter until spring. Some larvae need several years to develop into a full-fledged, acorn weevil. After becoming an adult acorn beetle, the larva, which is no longer such, emerges from the ground and begins its life cycle.